How to install Debian 11 Bullseye on any Mac with Apple Silicon. Hey guys, it's KS Giral here with a brand new video. This video shows how to install Debian Linux on M1 or M2 Mac using UTM. With UTM, you can run virtual machines in QEMU-based hypervisors or emulate other operating systems. This allows running Debian with OpenGL hardware acceleration inside a virtual machine on Apple Silicon. With Apple's powerful virtualization framework, ARM64 operating systems can be run at near native speeds on Apple Silicon. So without further ado, let's get into installing Debian 11 on MWIN or M2 Mac. First things first, this guide will work on any Mac with Apple Silicon. During the demonstration of this video, I'm using a MacBook Air with an M1 chip. As you can see, it runs the latest version of macOS Monterey. To install Debian Linux on M1 or any Mac with Apple Silicon, you must reserve a 30 GB of free space or more. Then head over to these links using a web browser. The first link takes you to this page. Go ahead and download the UTM application. Then hop over to the second link and scroll to the bottom and download the Debian Linux ARM64 edition. Once it's done downloading both files, move it to the desktop for easier access. Then double tap on the UTM DMG file and drag the icon to the Applications folder. Now launch the UTM application. For the first time, if you're installing the UTM application, it may ask some permissions to be granted. After granting the permissions, you will see the user interface of the UTM application. As you can see, it's simple and clean. Now let's go ahead and start creating a new virtual machine for Debian Linux. To do so, click on the plus button. On the start menu, you will see two options, virtualize and emulate. If you are installing any ARM64 OS on Apple Silicon, use Virtualize to simulate the bare metal performance. If you are installing any Intel or AMD OS on Apple Silicon, use Emulation. So better use the OS that matches your computer architecture for faster performance. For now, choose Virtualize. Then select Linux and import the Debian image file. Then for the hardware, allocate a minimum of 4 gigs of RAM for this virtual machine and set CPU cores to 4. Lastly, enable the hardware acceleration for a smoother experience. Then click on continue. Now allocate the storage space for the Debian virtual machine and make sure it's not less than 25 GB. Now under the shared directory, you can allow any macOS folders to be accessed inside a Debian Linux via HTTP web server. For now, I'm going to allow the downloads folder. Then name the virtual machine and click on save. That's it. Now we are done creating a virtual machine for Debian Linux. On the right, you can see the information and settings of this virtual machine. Now I click on settings from the top right. You can see that these are the default settings of the virtual machine. You can also alter these changes. For now, I will leave it to defaults. It's time to start the virtual machine. To do so, tap on the play button. From the boot menu, choose the graphical installation. One thing you should keep in mind is that when you tap inside a virtual machine, the cursor control will be bounded to the guest OS. To release, press Ctrl plus option to get the control of the cursor back to the host OS. As you can see, the Debian installer has shown up. Choose your system language, then select your country and set the keyboard language. Now set the hostname as Debian and continue. For the domain name, I will leave it blank. Now set the password for the root user. 
It's time to create a standard user. Go ahead, enter your full name and continue. I will set the same username as the full name and set the password for the new user. Under the partitionizing method, choose the first option. If you want the virtual machine to be encrypted, choose the third option. For now, I will just stick to the standard ones. Now you can see the free space which we have allocated before. Use this free space and continue and don't worry about formatting this free space and has nothing to do with Mac OS. We are just using the Mac OS free space to install Debian inside a virtual machine or an isolated environment. Let's choose all files in one partition and finish writing the changes. That's it, now the installer will start installing the base system. Now under the configuration of the package manager, choose no. Then select the package mirror nearest location and choose the fastest server. For the HTTP proxy information, I'm going to leave as blank and continue to start configuring the APT. Lastly, the installer will prompt you to set up a desktop environment for Debian Linux. Now choose your favorite desktop. For now, I'm going to stick to GNOME, which works fine for me without any issues and continue for finishing the installation. Now this will take some time and depends on the speed of your internet connection. Once the installation is complete, head over to the root user interface of the UTM application. Select the virtual machine, then choose CD, DVD option and unmount the image file. Now click on the reboot button to restart the virtual machine and this time it will boot into Debian Linux. Now click on the username at the bottom right, tap on the settings gear icon and choose GNOME on Xarg which works without any issues. Now enter your password, voila, we are inside the Debian Linux. Just look at the speed of Debian Linux, it's freaking fast. I feel like I'm running Debian on bare metal and most of the things work fine. I had very good luck running some of the graphic intensive applications like IntelliJ, GIMP and VS Code. One thing we need to fix immediately after installing Debian Linux is to add a standard user to the sudo worst list. To do so, open the terminal. As a normal user, if I try to update the system using a root privileges, it will throw an error. That's because the user doesn't belong to the sudo group. To fix this, type su root to access the root user, then type the password for the root user. Now type sudo usermod-a-g sudo which is the group and the username you want to add to the sudo group then press the enter key. Now if I run this command you can see I am a part of the sudo group and gain the full permissions to execute anything. Anyway as a root user first update the system then run this command to install the UTM drivers. Once it's done, shut down the Debian Linux virtual machine. Then head over to the virtual machine settings, choose the display and enable retina mode.
you know, turn on the virtual machine. Inside settings, choose the display and scale the resolution to 200%. Now you can see Debian looks fantastic. Thanks to the hardware acceleration and retina mode, the GNOME desktop runs battery smooth. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install Debian 11 Bullseye on any Mac with Apple Silicon. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell button to see a versatile tech content. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you at the next one.